Okay, so this is the SEI quadcopter. Uh, it's known as the DJI Phantom quadcopter. Um, it's got quite a big lithium ion battery in that gives you a flight time, well, maximum flight time is about 25 minutes, but with a safety margin that's about 20. And it carries a GoPro camera on the front to allow you to take either videos or stills, depending on what you want. And it's on a controlled gimbal, so you can adjust the angle of the camera in flight to get the shot that you want. The camera's a, uh, got a wireless connection to a tablet, so you can actually see what you're filming as you're flying, and actually control what the camera's doing that way as well. So that's what we've got in here. So we're working at the Arboretum Trust out at Castle Coward, and the task that they'd like us to help with is, they've got a database of all their trees that are in the Arboretum. What they haven't actually got is a map to locate where those trees are. So as a starting point of completing that survey, we've been collecting some high resolution air photography to stitch together to make a really detailed map of the Arboretum. And based on that, we can actually go round to the trees that are all tagged to locate where they are on the ground based on the photograph to link the database to actually the location of the trees on the ground in the Arboretum. So that's what we've been up to. So you start the motors up. Well, I think there's a variety of things. So I've already been talking in um, the EPSRC co-motion project. And what we're thinking there is to actually try and use this to fly the routes that older people use within towns so that we can film the hazards and the issues that they're confronting from the above to get a better feel or to be able to communicate those problems maybe to other people. Then there's the option as well of taking off the GoPro and maybe fitting some other kind of sensors on the front to either record different types of pollutants or maybe look at things in different uh, different spectrums of light so looking at infrared perhaps or looking at heat from buildings so doing those kind of surveys.